I am going to respond to a comment that I don't exactly understand perhaps the intent or the direction of it. So uh, let's just all check it out together. I made a video called My Unorthodox Approach to Curing Hair Loss Offbeat Self-Help. And our friend Mickey Mouse 5, which you gotta love that name, Mickey Mouse 5 left this comment, quote, while it is common in men, hair loss is not a natural phenomenon and is considered an ailment. It's important to be honest about that, end quote. So this is not the first time I have addressed this on this channel. Years ago, this came up more frequently. This is a matter of perception. Now, I recently watched again Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which came out in 1989. I saw it in the theater when it first came out, and I watched it again the second time over the weekend. And there's a scene where Indiana Jones is talking to his class, and he tells them uh, that he's going to be talking about facts. F-A-C-T-S. Facts. He said, if you want to know about truth, that's something different. If you want to know about that, go to philosophy class down the hall. See, this is where this comes into play. Perception of reality. Because if you ask me, hair loss is not a disease. Hair loss is not an ailment. To me, that's obvious to me. To me, that is truth. And to me, that is fact. But I would submit to you that especially because in the modern world, there are perceived cures for hair loss that we are led to believe that it is an ailment or a disease. Because, and there's a Metallica song about that too, uh, as well as far as talking about uh, as long as there's, that, that basically there has to be a cure if there's a disease. Uh, at least someone's going to sell you a cure as long as we think that there's a disease. There's a Metallica song about that. And it, I'm thinking about that right now. I absolutely do not see hair loss as a disease or an ailment. It's just simply the human body. It's, it's if we saw beards, it, like imagine this. So females don't have, typically don't have beards, right? And if they were, they'd be in the circus, the beard lady, right? This is not seen as an ailment, but it would be if a woman had it. It's all a matter of perception. But men, it's expected that we have extra body hair and that we bald. That's what's expected. That's normal. And I think what you have to do, all of you, as, as my viewers, all nearly 7,000 of you, what you have to determine is, do you truly think that hair loss is a disease or an ailment that needs to be cured? Because fundamentally, you can see that for me, I do not perceive it that way. I perceive it as normal. And I think only in a modern setting would anyone think that it's an ailment, something that is a disease, something that basically means that you're sick. Like that thought, what I just said out loud sounds crazy to me. So it's good that we had this conversation because as a whole, you need to come to terms, all of you, with how you feel about it. Because how you feel about that, your perception of truth is going to determine your thoughts and therefore your behavior and your actions based on hair loss. As you can see, I am leading this channel. You make your own decisions. I can't tell you what to believe. I can tell you what I believe and what my perception of reality is. And that is ultimately that it's laughable that we, anyone would think that hair loss is a disease or an ailment. That's simply the concept, the mindset of a consumer, a consumer who thinks if something's not ideal in my mind, I can find some way to spend my money to solve the problem. Simply put, I do not see hair loss as a problem. What I do perceive as a problem is that younger men haven't figured out their identity yet. They don't know what they're good at. They don't know what they're bad at. They don't actually know how to communicate with women. They're largely addicted to pornography because it's everywhere now. And so therefore, they've, they're caught in this little box down here, over here. And then the rest of us guys are like, no, that's not actually how it works. Do you, you sure you want to stay over there? Because there's all of this space that we're living in and you're you're okay with staying in that little box? That's how people like me see the world. And I think it's not a coincidence that I am one of the leading hair loss YouTubers in the entire world. I'm somewhere in the top five. And it's because my approach is different. I'm not here to sell people 
the cure. There is no cure because there is no disease. That is what Nick Shell, the living legend of hair loss, has to say. Now is everyone's opportunity to determine what you believe is truth, what you believe is fact. Is hair loss a disease? Is hair loss an ailment? Is it a problem that needs to be solved on the outside first the inside? Your thoughts, your beliefs, your version of truth belongs right here.